Hello fellow equestrians, it is Claire here and today I'm going to show you guys a tour of my grooming box slash grooming tote. So let's get started. So this is my grooming tote. If you can see it's got a little decal with my monogram on it and it's just a normal plastic grooming box. Nothing too special about it. It's not my favorite. Um, I need to get one of those like grooming tote bags because this one is just so awkward to carry and it's just not my favorite. So the first thing that I have in my grooming tote is fly spray. Always got to have it. I have this Smart Pack um, Outsmart fly spray. It's really cool and it smells like peppermint and apparently you can use it on yourself. So this is the first time I've tried it and I really like it. I think I'm going to keep using it. Next thing I have is this Shoshin Miracle Groom and this Laser Sheen. These are both just like to clean up your horse and make them look prettier. I use this Miracle Groom in the winter a lot when I can't wash my horses. Gets all the dust off of them and it does make them shiny. It says bath in a bottle which is honestly what I use it for, kind of. And then this laser laser sheen is similar to Shoshin in the fact that it kind of gets all the dust off your horse and makes them shiny and pretty, so I have that. And I also have MTG, which is short for Main Tail Groom. This I always have just in case if um, like my horse gets a fungus or like brain rot, girth it, girth girth itch scratches tail rubbing dry skin bug bites um and this is also really good for mane and tail growth river's tail is a little thin so i just put a little bit on the roots of his tail um but also like brushed in my last horse used to get rain rot and so i'd put this on it and it fixed it up right away so that was everything that i had on one side of my grooming box now let's go to the other. Flip it around a bit. Okie dokie. So the next thing I have in here is a little teeny tiny curry comb that my hand barely fits in. I got this curry comb with my very first horse I started leasing when I was like 12, 11. And so it's teeny tiny, but I still have it and I still use it. So I also have this Caratex hoof hardener. Um, and the little brush that goes with it, I just put this on the sole of River's feet and then the outside of his feet to kind of harden his hooves up because he's got lots of cracks and stuff, so this helps really well. It's very expensive, but it works wonders. I also have my soft brush, hard brush, or like, and then like medium hardness brush. And these are really cool because they have are hand painted. Um, two of them say my name on them, and then the other one just has like a C on it for Claire. And I got these from Relatively Stable. I will link them in the description. They paint awesome custom handmade brushes, and I've had these for like a year, and they're still like in amazing condition somehow. And then I also have just a plain gray sweat scraper, a tough one sweat scraper, nothing too fancy. And then an Oster mane and tail comb. These mane and tail combs are the only mane and tail combs I use. I will not use anything but these because they are amazing and they work wonders and they're literally amazing. And then I just have some random things at the bottom as like backups or stuff so I just have a little hoof pick, a little mane and tail ties, and then I have my braiding apron. Um, I don't really use it very often except for when I'm like trimming a mane because I typically have my trainer braid my horse for shows because she does it really well and I'm so OCD like if all my braids are not even I will spend hours braiding my horse's mane and I can't, I can't do that. So I usually just have my trainer do it but in here I just have some clips a little thingy majig that is stuck. Uh, one of these thingies, and uh, one of these thingies, a clipper blade, 
Um, now, if you want to know how I trim my horse's mane without pulling it, I will link that video in the description because I made a video on how I clip my horse's mane and I clip it with a clipper blade. Just a plain old clipper blade, so that's why I have that in here. And there's also a little comb thingy. And yeah, nothing too exciting, but it won't go back in! Come on, it's ridiculous. How in the hank? <gasps> Got it. Okay, and then in the little side holes of my grooming box, I'll show you them. Here and here, I have a pair of scissors, just in case I need to cut anything, because I'm always at the barn needing scissors and I never have them. So I keep them in my grooming tote at all times. And then I also have over here my hoof pick. That's really fancy and kind of old and gross, but... So I keep that there. And as you can tell, I try to stay organized in my grooming box, but I, it doesn't really work out. I have curry comb, Keratex, and then underneath it just a bunch of random stuff that backups. I keep my brushes next to each other, mane and tail comb, sweat scraper, and then over here I just have all my products like my fly sprays, my um, Miracle Groom, Laser Sheen, and then my MTG. So that's how I have it organized and I've got this beautiful lovely decal on the front that I also got from Relatively Stable where I got my brushes from. So yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. That is everything I currently have in my grooming tote. Sometimes I'll have other things in it, sometimes I won't. But this is what I have in it right now. So I hope you guys liked this and please comment any other videos you would like me to do because everyone keeps asking me, Claire, when are you going to upload your next video? What's your next video going to be? I have a lot of ideas, but I have a hard time picking which video I'm going to do next. So just comment below what video you want me to do next. I will do my best to upload videos very often, but in the summer I do work constantly. I have two jobs and I work all the time so I can pay for my horse. So anytime I can, I film YouTube videos. Also, you guys keep asking about my 20K giveaway and I'm still doing it. I'm waiting on a couple more prizes to come in to me before I can make my video and start it. But it's gonna be really awesome, so stay tuned, follow my Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube if you want to make sure you get notified when I start the giveaway so you can enter. So keep an eye out for the giveaway. So I hope you guys liked it. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the flippy flip, flippity flop. I'm awkward. Love me. Okay, bye. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your chair. This is way more organized before I started taking everything out.